Welcome everybody. Today we want to discuss about the rule number two, changes in tense. And we know that. Just I want to write here an example. Habib. Habib says, comma, inverted comma, I am, I am fine. F I N E and quote mark close. And it is direct. So, if we want to change that sentence into indirect, in indirect, at the time, the time, this sentence will change. Habib says that, Habib says that, here I, it denotes, here Habib, so he is fine. F I N E, and full stop. So, how can, if reporting verb, if reporting verb is in the present or in future tense, the tense of reporting speech is not changed. So here just I want to write another example. Direct. He will say, he will say, comma, quote at my group, I am, I am ready. I am ready to go. Full stop and quoted mark close. So here in indirect space we can write he will say that I I did not see. So he is ready is ready to go. So that's rule. If reporting verb is in present in the or present tense or future tense the tense in the reported speech the tense in the reported speech is not changed so it will be changed with the issue of that subject so as I so for that reason we have to use M so here he it refers here he so he for that reason we cannot use here M and instead of M we can use is so if I write down here that's another example in direct space. He says, comma, inverted comma, I went, I went there, started. I went there, he started. So if you want to change this sentence into indirect, at the time, we can write, he says that, that will be used as conjunctions that I it denotes here he so he went he went there he started he went there he started so if reporting verb is in present or the future tense so the tense in the reported space is not changed as it is present even it so for that reason this on that is past in the tense, it will not be changed, it will unchanged as the reporting verb is in present tense or in future tense, the tense of reported space will not be changed. So here number A and you can write down here that's number B. He said uh, same direct space, he said comma in direct comma I am I am fine. I am fine. That same sentence which I have written on the above. So here, if we want to change the sentence into indirect, at the time we can write, he said that I I did not see. So he was he was fine. He was fine. And then after completing that sentence, we have to use full stop. So so how can it will be? Because if the reporting verb is in the past tense look at this here say it, it is past tense and says it is present tense so here if reporting verb is in past tense the verb of the reported speech the verb of the reported speech is changed into the corresponding past tense form so here i am is here it is the auxiliary verb of past continuous tense present continuous tense so it will turn into past continuous tense so M is a the auxiliary of present continuous, so it will turn into past continuous tense. 
And if you write here just another example, Derek speaks, he said, comma invert comma, I want, I want to go. So in indirect speech, so in indirect speech, we can write here that way, he said that, he said that, I did not see. So he wanted, W -N -T, he wanted to go. So how can, if reporting verb is in, if reporting verb is in, first tense, so the verb in the reported speech, so the verb in the reported speech is changed into the corresponding past tense. It is present indefinite, so it will turn into past indefinite. And you know that in past indefinite tense, the verb will turn into past form. And if you write here, there's another example. Derek speech. In Derek speech, he said, comma, inverted comma. He said, comma, inverted comma. I went there. I went there. Start I O N D I is start day. So in indirect speech, in indirect speech, I can write he said that he said that I did not share he so he as it is past in the big tense form, so it will turn into past perfect. So he had gone there the previous day. The previous here the P I O S previous day. So if reporting verb is in past tense, so the tense of people is this would change its corresponding past tense form. That way we have to change the sentence. And during speech, if you write here there's another example, he said comma inverted comma. I shall I shall have I shall have done it. So in indirect speech, in indirect speech, we can write, he said, he said that, I did not see, so he, and I, for that reason, subject I, we can use here shall, and for, instead of I, instead of I, he, so we will use to, we have to use a root, I would have, I would have done it. So this rule is, if reporting verb, if the reporting verb is in past tense, so the verb of the reported speech is changed into the corresponding past form. Thank you.